بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الكريم محمد وآله وأصحابه أجمعين As we mentioned before once again we will repeat it because this is the basic subject and that must be repeated time and again so number one then after that is if he is done for he should learn you are done amar so we are waiting for you So as we mentioned before, that once again you should write it. Point number one: human being or human being is. honored creature of allah that's point number 1 point number 2 is they have been given three means or four things to get and receive knowledge through it and these are number 1 senses and number 2 intellect and number 3 wahi or revelation got it point number 3 based on their intellect they have got the fourth and honor they have got the fourth and honor as they utilize use and exploit the whole world to the best of their ability and that this is important that's why we are waiting for you so i think that we are not bothering you what do you think ha huh? so we are thankful to you that you are attending the class yes okay got it and 
because of this intellect they have been made bound to obey Allah to accept the message and to practice accordingly. When you people are done this one, what are you? This is actual philosophy of Deen. And as you know, that we are living in a philosophical world where regarding every single person, people say, why? Got it? So after this uh, class of Hadith Putsi, we will start, inshallah, Islamic philosophy. That we will find out that why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says make wudu. Because people ask, why we are going to wash our private parts of body? People ask, why we pray? Even though, to us, the simple answer is because that is the order of Allah. But to others, yes, what? To others, means to the disbelievers or non-Muslims. Or to the westernized Muslim. You have to answer the question, why? Got it? So you wrote this one? You, you completed it? Hussain did it? No, just do it. Complete it. I have to wait. You know what I am saying? Yes, our Sheikh used to say, that that sheikh is a proper sheikh who considers himself a slave in the hands of his students. Okay. You got this? Oh, this whole one. Now you are writing this? Okay. Now you got it? Point number four. Intellect is not an ultimate and perfect mean of Receiving knowledge is number one, it, it's approach has Limit why there are things beyond those limits which may be known. Now these things are not only for writing, but you have to memorize it. Yes? You will memorize it as you have memorized your prayer. Got it? You know, for example, I will ask you that why why is needed? Why a human being has been given intellect and intellectual approach? You know what I'm saying? 
So you will not say, let me start from the very beginning, you should find out that what's the answer for that question. No. You, because, because the approach of intellect has its own limits, while there are things beyond those limits, which may be known, and you cannot know it by using your intellect. So you need another source. Got it? Its approach has limits while there are things beyond those limits which may be known. And another mean of knowledge is needed. Yes? Got it? This is one reason. Reason number two. It gets affected like other organs and qualities. Yes? So we need a non-affected source or mean of knowledge. That's point number two. Point number three. Point number three. It cannot compete or counter custom but it surrenders to it you heard on this one it surrenders to it why most of the time, you should write it. Why? Most of the time, the custom or the custom is a bad custom. So one has to follow another mean of knowledge. To follow another mean of knowledge which can counter the bad custom. And number four. Intellect is get affected by Hanami by superstition by superstition mean nonsense superstition means nonsense but the intellect cannot counter it so that's why people do surround to superstition yes the surrender they surrender to superstition. Yes? Got it? So, we need another mean of knowledge to counter a superstition. Got it or not? It? Then, this is important. Then, human unity Upon it, specific thing or concept is required 
and that concept must be an utmost or ultimate right concept. Because if that is a wrong concept, so not only that unity is not needed there, but to follow it, that is a wrong sense. Because the concept itself is not a good one. Got it? So for the concept, that is must to be an utmost and ultimate right concept. Got it? Got it? That is a requirement. Now, you wrote this one? Hazrat and Hussain? No, this one. Now, here is no any criterion to find out the ultimate perfect intellect, the ultimate perfect intellect to be the final source for humanity. Is there any scientific tool through which you can find out that with the so and so from six be amongst the six billion people, he has the Akal, which is the ultimate perfect Akal and perfect intellect. And can you imagine to have such like tool? You know what I'm saying? Got it? Can you imagine it? No. It will never come into existence to find out that, yes, what they put? Yes. Lie detector. What? That's an ultimate source to find out that this guy is telling lies? No. Even a court of law. In a court of law, the judge will never believe what the lie detector has found out. Got it? Because the guy, he became shrunk. Yes. Enough. He's the, the, the truthful guy. But his neural system is weak. And the moment he faced the people from the agency, he shrinks. So he's not telling lies, but he cannot speak. You know what I'm saying? So now, the light is going up and down. They will be putting numbers. So this is like, this is like, okay. Oh, because these are not physical things. These are not physical in a sense. DNA is a physical thing. You know what I'm saying? So you can find out. But these are not physical things in that sense that you will find out ultimately that, oh, this guy is telling lie or he is speaking the truth. You know what I'm saying? So if nobody could be found out through a scientific uh, tool that his intellect or intellectual approach is the ultimate perfect approach from amongst the six billion people living nowadays in the whole world. Who will check all those six billion people? Yes, who will take the responsibility? Number one. Who will pay the expenses for this? What I'm saying? Still we be in, in the middle of our way and the whole money is gone. Expenses will be so high. And the ultimate result will be zero plus zero plus zero plus one billion zero is equal to is equal to what? To zero. 
जीरो जीरो प्लस वन मिलियन जीरो जीरो दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल गॉट इट देख वाई वह ये इज नीडेड बट अगेन Because when you will start why, so it will go forever. Why, why, and why? Got it? Why? Because this is the answer. Number one. Human by nature. Never live forever. While they can never burn. Two. Satisfy. Satisfy. This. Natural demand of air. demand of them they want number 1 to have their generation Going on after him, yes, but he gets satisfied. And therefore, if somebody is dying and having no kid behind him, so people are feeling sorry for him. People are feeling sorry for him. You know what I am saying? Otherwise, yes, son or daughter, he cannot avail you anything after your death. The only thing he can do is he is or she is. Oh Allah, forgive my father. Oh Allah, forgive my mother. Allah mar bana firli. Wali wali dariya. You know, that's the only thing they can do. Nothing else. But on the day of judgment, they will hold your hand and take you to paradise. They cannot. But you get satisfied if you are going to die and you have sons or daughters behind you, especially sons. <coughs> yes, got it. So he satisfies and says, "They still, I am living here in this world." Is it a star? Is it a lie? Is it a bush? Is it a paper? नई नस्लों की सियादत के लिए दिन कर रहे हैं दैट इज नंबर वन नंबर टू डिफरेंट अप्रोच टू डू सच ए लिविंग वेलफेयर वर्क Which can still practical after his death, like to establish a school 
हॉस्पिटल ऑर्फनेज वेल पीपल आर डूइंग इवन द नाम ऑफ इट दे डू इट आर नॉट दे डू मेक वेल दे आर डूइंग मोर देन मुस्लिम यस वाई दे आर सेटिस्फाइंग नोट आई सेंट काइंग बोर्ड इज देयर जेडी सेंटर पढ़ ले Yes, yeah, Jesse Center. What is that? Yes, he can describe himself. They are after my death. Every day, almost a thousand people have been mentioning my name. Yes. Where are you going? Have you asked? Jesse Center. Yes, he can satisfy. In his lifetime, days, a thousand people, almost every day, they will be mentioning Jesse. Jesse, number one. Ah, in other words, yes, people will be getting benefit of their life. Or of their school, or of their hospital, or their mosque, or their road, or their bridge, or their orphanage, or whatever he has done. So that's why they are. They are that's human nature. That's what. That's human nature. And the number three. To have a connection. to have a connection to an everlasting entity to an what everlasting entity and that everlasting entity is allah so people are trying to have a connection with the everlasting entity so it means if they got died even after their death they are still alive yes wala taqulu liman yuqtalu fi sabil Allah amwat bal ahya'un walakin la tashurun wala tahsaran alladhina qutilu fi sabil Allah amwata bal ahya'un inda rabbihim yurdaqun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says those who got martyred in the holy cause of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala don't think even that they are dead. Yes, if they are not dead, why we bury them there? If they are not dead, why we just perform their salat in Jannah? If they are not dead, why we have divided and distributed their property amongst the inheritors? It means that he is dead, but Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says don't think even that he is dead. Number one, he has a different type of life in his grave. He has a different type of life in his grave. And number two, for the mission, he has sacrificed his life. The mission will be going on alive after his death. So, in shape of that mission, he is still alive. He is living amongst you. Yes? Have you got it? That's how Allah says. Yes, Subhanallah. Wala tahtaban nandali. Once Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, Wala taqulu, don't say. Wala taqulu, don't say. لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أموال فردوه هو قاعد في الدين بقاط الله ذي ذي أهدل ولا بل أحياء ذي أر ألايف ولكن لا تشعرون but you cannot conceive you cannot conceive their life because that is beyond the level of your concept they are in the other world and there they are alive they are in the other world and there they are alive that is one thing and Allah says ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمر don't think even about those who got killed in the cause of Allah سبحانه وتعالى that they are dead بل أحياء but they are alive عند ربهم يرزقون and they have been provided from their Lord فرحين بما أتاهم الله من فضله and they boast they rejoice Whatever they have been given from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala means His bounty. For it is not by ma atahum Allah, huh? Wa yastafshirun bil ladina lam yarhaku bihim. And they feel happy for those who have not joined them yet, but they do follow the same way of life. Ya Subhanallah. Look, ya Subhanallah. Once again. 
ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله dont think even about those who got killed in the path of Allah amwatan that they are dead بل احياء no but they are alive عند ربهم يرزقون اي يرزقون من عند ربهم they have been provided by their Lord from his side فرحين فرح مين they are rejoicing they are feeling happy they boast بما آتاهم الله من فضل because of their فضل and bounty which Allah has given them ويستبشرون بالذين لا يحكوا بهم ويستبشرون استبشار مين they are receiving and giving happy news they are giving no both they are giving and receiving happy news from each other so the shuhada in the path of Allah they are giving and receiving happy news from each other about what بالذين لم يحقوا بهم about those who have not joined them yet who have not joined them yet but they do follow the same mission they do follow the same mission they keep the torch alive they keep the torch Allah, the thought which they have left behind. So these people who are still in this world, they keep it alive. Got it? وَيَسْتَفْشِرُونَ بِالَّذِينَ لَمْ يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ مِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ أَلَّا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْضَنُونَ They say, oh, those brothers who are keeping our thoughts alive and still burning, they will have no fear in that world, وَلَا هُمْ يَحْضَنُونَ and no worries in this world. They will be having no fear in that world which we have left behind and no worry in this world which we already arrived in. Now you got it? Now you got it? So it means that that is an everlasting life. That's what? Everlasting life and we call it uh, uh, the endless bliss. We call it what? The endless bliss. Yes. So endless bliss, it means that they are still alive in one way or the other. So now people, they are trying to satisfy themselves to live forever, either by having this way, or by having this one, or say, by having this one, which is the utmost good way. This one is the utmost good way from amongst these three. Got it? To be in touch with Allah, to establish a connection with Allah, if you are died even, you pass away, still you are alive. بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَشْعُرُونَ بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْضَقُونَ فَرِحِينَ بِمَا آتَاهُمُ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِ وَيَسْتَشْرُونَ بِالَّذِينَ لَمْ يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ مِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ اللَّا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ One, this is another way, how one will establish this connection, yes, the easy answer is, by following the Wahi by following the Wahi that or not? by following the Wahi now him another way Why? Why is not given to everyone? Yes. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted us to correct ourselves, yes, to go in the proper direction, to be in touch with Allah, 
Subhana Huwa Ta'ala, he should have sent my wahi to me, his wahi to him, his wahi to him, and to every single individual. Yes, at least nowadays, there must be, or must have been, yes, six billion angels coming down every day, being in touch with every single individual from the human world. This is the message of Allah, Mr. So and so, this is our bush. This is the message of Allah. Yes. Mr. Condoleezza Rice, Mr. Condoleezza Rice, this is your message. Mr. Brother Abdul Qayyum, this is your message. Yes. Brother Hafid Asim, this is your message. Because Allah wants you to walk in the proper direction, to be in connection to Allah. Subha and that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Holy Quran. Where is that Hafid Asim? أَيَّتْمَعُ كُلُّ مْرِئِمْ مِنْهُمْ أَنْ يُؤْتَى صُحُفًا مُنَشَّرًا كَلَّهَا ما أسلطاء كلها إنها تفكرة لمن شاء ذكرها Allah says بَلْ يُرِيدُ كُلُّ مْرِئِمْ مِنْهُمْ Every one of these crazy guys in the peninsula he wants أَنْ يُؤْتَى صُحُفًا مُنَشَّرًا that he may be given an open book by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the name of Mr. So and so. This in the name of Mr. So and so. This in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah, that's not my sunnah. That's not my way giving message. I select one amongst the human beings. I select one. And I select in myself. I select it myself. There is no voting. There is no supreme point. Whom should I give the way? He will be your leader. Yes? Allah for, and that's why, in Holy Quran, look at me, it will make your Iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لو لا نزل هذا القرآن على رجل من القريتين عظيم People of Peninsula made an objection to the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why he is given this message? Why he is given Quran? Why it is not given to Amr ibn Hisham? To who? To Amr ibn Hisham. Or to Nuhayim ibn Masood. Hamr ibn Hisham, the chief of Makkah. Nuhayim ibn Masood, the chief of Sa'ir. Yes, the healthy people, the wealthy people, the rich people. Why does that go to them? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ahum yaksimu da rahmat rabbik. Message. Prophethood. Nubuwat and risala. That is my mercy. I do give it on my own. I don't ask anybody. Do you agree to give it to Mr. So-and-so? Allah will ask anybody. He does not ask even Jibreel. Yes. That uh, Jibreel, do you want to go to Mr. So-and-so? No, I don't like him. I don't want to go. Oh, why are you good? Yes. Take it. Go here. There is no any other way. That's Allah's action. That's the action of whom? Allah. So that's why Allah says, Ahum yaktimun ahmad rabbi. نحن قصنا بين المعيشة في الحياة الدنيا الله سبحانه وتعالى قال I do not distribute worldly attachment and worldly things asking others I do distribute on my own so nobody can make an objection to Allah why you have given that much to Bill Gates and not to me Allah said who are you asking me you are my boss yes are you my king are you the owner are you have the treasury control who are you that is me. نحن قصمنا بينهم معيشة في الحياة في الدنيا. ورفع بعضهم فوق بعض الدرجات ليتخذ بعضهم بعضا سقريا ورحمة ربك خير مما يجمعون. So anyhow, why? Why is not given to everyone? Because, this is the answer. Because, Unity is needed as we started with. Yes, you remember? What we started with? Unity. Human unity. Based upon what? A solid concept. Based upon what? A solid and real concept. Not a concept. Based upon a solid and real concept. You know what I'm saying? Unity is needed. So if everybody is given a different type of way. So will be there any unity? Yes. In that one Quran there is no unity. So what about six billion Quran? If Allah would have given six billion Quran to six billion human beings. So then what? Now, the subhanallah, we don't sit together. Even though our book is, what are you saying? So anyhow, 
because unity is needed and therefore there may be only one person receiving the message. And he may be listened, obeyed, followed, and emulated as a teacher, instructor, and role model. As a teacher, instructor, and a role model. Now you got it? And this that person Right. The third person is given a transparent nature, a transparent nature, and that's why before message. Nobody 